We are here. It's a very inspirational message already. That's Islam, was it? Uh, was good... Again? Pardon me, somebody spoke. Oh, who, what is your name, sir? Now I can see you. Yeah, whoever my... speaks, their face pops up. Uh, my name is Joseph. Joseph. Where are you from, Joseph, if I may ask? I'm, I'm from Palestine. You're from Palestine. And yes. would it be fair to assume you speak Arabic? Yes, I'm speaking Arabic. Thank you very much. Clear. I'm getting an idea for you guys. I think we calibrate it. And so I'm going to kick this off. We have a little less than an hour left. And I'm this particular workshop is going to be hands-on. It's going to be super practical. And the goal is to get you guys introduced to pitching and get you better. Pitching, essentially, for lack of a better word, is something you're going to be doing when you're going to be recording your videos. Some of you will be using things like Adobe Spark, maybe Loom, maybe other types of software. But ultimately, you're going to be speaking and showing stuff. But to show you how to speak and how to communicate in regards to pitching, as which is a very short talk, I need an example. I need one of you. We are going to have a around 10-minute conversation. Now, this 10-minute conversation somewhat is going to be super tedious and boring. But upon when we finish it, I'm going to pitch for two, two and a half minutes, sometimes three, and I'll give you a practical example using the content, using the story of the individual I just interviewed. So it's going to be done in real time. I'm going to give you a practical example using one of you. But to do this, maybe the organizers already informed you, I need to be very direct in asking you questions. I will need to memorize what you tell me, and then I will show you using myself and using your own story content and, and so forth. So who would like to volunteer? Because I will never point a finger and say you, right? I'm not going to force you to do it. I only do this particular exercise once. It's quite expensive in terms of time. Who would like to volunteer? I can. Okay. I can. Understood. Volunteer. Once again, please remind me of your name, sir. Yusuf. Yusuf, understood. So everybody who is joining this call right now, let me very much break down what's going to happen. People who are speaking and it's just noise, please mute your microphones. So I don't know if Z is speaking or not, but please mute your microphones if you're not speaking, right? When you want to say something, unmute the mic, feel free to contribute. I welcome it. But right now we're going to have a conversation with Yusuf. So Yusuf, I'm going to ask you direct questions. And everybody else is going to be deconstructing, trying to understand what is happening right now. The, the basic structure, what I'm going to be asking you is revolves around four components. Four components, ladies and gentlemen. Who is Yusef? What does he do? Why does he do what he does? So, Lamada. And his ask, what is he seeking? Is he seeking impact investors, for instance? Then what exactly is the amount that he's seeking? On which stage is he? But ask, is he asking for advice? Is he looking for customers? Is he looking to pilot with schools, universities? Is he trying to test something? I need an ask at the end of it. But to do this, I need to start compiling a story. So Yusuf, it's your show. May I start pr proceed to asking you questions? Okay. Let's do it. Let's time this for around 10 minutes max, right, ladies and gentlemen. Some of this is going to be tedious. Right, and I encourage your patience. Yusuf, what is the name of your project? Uh, we named it Farm Renting for now, but it may be changed. Farm Renting. Can you break it down for me? What does Farm Renting do? And everybody else, please pay attention to the process of extracting information because this is exactly what you need to be doing, will need to be doing for your video scripts. You will need to start compiling very basic components. Somebody has some kind of music going on, right? So I don't know who, but make sure that that stuff is muted. Thank you. Youssef, what does Farm Renting do? Uh, it's an application which connects the landowners and unemployed farmers so that the landowners can give their land to be planted if they don't have the time or skills. And the unemployed farmers can find a job, like using that platform, to use that land. And then at the end, each of the like customers, the workers, and the landowners get benefit from the resources that come from the land. 
All right. So if I got this right, then please correct me, Yusuf, here. This is an application. This application is for farmers. Did I understand these two facts correctly? It's not especially for farmers, but for people. It's for farmers and for unemployed people who want to be farmers. They can get trained and work in these lands. All right. And so what does fun what does your app do functionally? All right. So what does it specifically do on a feature level? Uh, as you and uh, you want to work in a land, you can see the list of lands uh -huh. that you can work on and you can apply to work in some of them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not sure where the sound comes from, but that's keep in mind I have a pretty sensitive headset so I can hear you better. And every time there's a really s significant spike in terms of the sound, it mm -hmm. hits my brain directly like a punch. So just keep that in mind. Please be gentle with my ears. Pretty All, right. All right. All right. Thank you. Shukran. So, yeah. so here's what I got. Let's say I'm unemployed and I understand there might be high unemployment where you come from and I need a job. The, this app allows somebody who wants to become a farmer to skim, to see a list of lands that they could work on, the farms they could work on. Did I understand you correctly? Yeah. Cool. And so you don't have to have a background farming, but you could train to become one. Did I get that right? Exactly. Clear. What is your background, Yusuf, if I may ask? I'm a computer systems engineer. A computer systems engineer. Understood. Uh, are you studying to become a computer systems engineer or you're currently employed as one or both? I'm currently studying and bo both, like working a part time. Understood. You're freelancing or you're employed with a larger development firm? Not freelancing, a local company. A development company. So computer system engineer. And what sort of stuff would you normally build, you specifically? What are you used to building? Like stuff for banks, like ERP systems? Are you working more with manufacturing companies, uh, you know, production lines? Can you help me out? What do you, stuff do you build? Like different normally. things? Like normally? Yeah. Like I worked on accounting systems, but it depends oh. on the company that brings like customers, they want to work. And I worked on stores. Sto e shops. Yeah. Like e shops. And like Magento, for instance. They have a back end yeah, exactly. system. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, so I mean, you built like one year on an accounting system, large. Cool. Okay, sweet. This is very good. Thank you, Yusuf. This is useful. What is your ambition for this business? And I presume it's going to be a business, this application. Your ambition? Mission. Ambition. So this is a business, correct? Yeah. I understand it's a hackathon project. So you've developed this during the hack within yeah. a very short amount of time. But do you intend it to be a business? Yeah. Is it a social entrepreneurship kind of business? Or it's a you know traditional software type of thing where you have a consumer-facing application and you are earning a fee on transactions or something like this? Can you help me understand this a little better? Thank you very much. And everybody else, this is where the point where people are gently getting bored at some point. I still ask of your attention and your patience to pay attention to the process of how I'm extracting information, how I'm clarifying some information. This is exactly what you will need to be able to do for your videos. You will need to be able to filter through and have understanding and clarity and then record it so people can understand it. But Yusuf, so help me out. What is the ambition that you have for business? What do you want it to be? Is it a business in the first place? And then what kind? Yeah, it's a business that helps the decreases the unemployment and also making use of the vacant or vacant lands, which it gets benefits to us, like we get fees from the resources that is sold. Uh, like you from, get fees for what? Yeah. Uh, what do you sell? Like when the farmers, like vegetables, the, the planted plants and the lands, like we rent the lands from the owners and we let the farmers work on it. And then like the money comes from these lands, we get like a percent of the profits. So you have a profit sharing scheme, if I understood, if I understood you correctly. So your application uh, as business model is focused on how much profit does the farm make? 
yeah like how much does the farm or yeah how much does the farming make we get money this seems a bit iffy uh help me understand this your business model have you thought about your business model fully be honest uh, currently we're working we were, we are working on it so we didn't finish it completely understood thank you for your honesty shukran that's very valuable i will have to put a placeholder business model of some kind so it's not complete yet so it's a bit fuzzy but you're exploring it you're a hackathon project you don't have all the yeah. answers i get it so what are you able to achieve within the whatever 48 hours 24 hours of coding what did you build currently we are working on the idea we worked from for about six hours till now six hours in total yeah i see so what is the total duration of the hack to two the point days. of two days so you're going to be pitching in a day or did i understand this correctly when are you going to be pitching tomorrow tomorrow or like tomorrow evening or tomorrow after in the morning this is the last or the deadline understood clear so key component within the pitch will be how much you've achieved right so one of the basic hackathon principles is that how far have you gone within the time given how much has your team built achieved validated relation improvements are you solving a real problem how do you know it's a real problem have you spoken to real people farmers and so forth and so where are you coming from otherwise without that the hackathon pitch content will be scarce there'll be very little to go by right because you know you're very fresh you're very new once again what is the problem that you're fundamentally solving with your application the problem that we are solving that like there is according to the ministry of Agric agriculture here in palestine more than 50 percent of the affordable lands are vacant so 15 are, 50 yeah 15. one five got it 15. Yeah. clear so arable land if i understood correctly affordable lands like What's they are affordable land yeah they can be planted arable right i forgot all right so i understood all right cool uh how much validation have you done validation Ooh, okay you don't know all right understood uh, have you spoken to farmers for instance before building this no. not yet <laughs> No. I kindly suggest you do during a hack to see whether you're building something people truly need and identifying the, the key pin points. Based on this information, based on these maybe 5, 15 interviews, you would be able to build a better app. So uh, yes, you have broad level macro statistics, about 15% of the land uh, and agriculture not being used in Palestine. And there's a high unemployment rate, I presume, so double digit of some kind in terms of youth. Yeah. And you want to connect it to that makes sense but you know will you be helping the founder of a farmer this way exactly by connecting them with untrained labor is that the pain point they have maybe they have a lack of subsidies and maybe you know you you get me here maybe they have something else as a problem and you need yeah. to discover that what you're because it's not technology in itself it's about the problem you're solving with the technology and it's a common problem that engineers have they love tech they love coding and so forth but then the technology starts chasing a problem which is a bad place to be in you can succeed with that but generally that's a, that's a no-no a bit for for example accelerators or investors is that clear yusuf yeah. was it yusuf was it right yes yeah yusuf very good just don't do validation google what problem validation is problem validation ladies and gentlemen very important component in hackathon pitches you gotta have it how many people do you have in your team? We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience so far. Soon I will be pitching as a Yusuf. How we many are, people do? Yeah. yeah, you are four in the team. Four in the team. Can you? Yeah. How? What is the breakdown of the skill set of the team? Can you give me an idea? Uh, can you repeat? Uh, who is in your team? Not based on names, but based on skills and backgrounds. Like we got two computer systems engineer and one computer science and one is an accountant an accountant and three yeah, developers account. essentially so three computer engineers more or less uh and one accountant exactly understood uh, you're an information systems engineer how do you call yourself we are computer systems engineer which is computer like system. more okay. hardware than software clear thank you very much science which is in a software. understood 
Yeah. What is the unemployment rate in Palestine? Mm, we haven't searched about it. But it's pretty high, I presume. Yeah, pretty high. Understood. It's probably double digits. It's not single. Yeah, digit. yeah. Understood. Clear. Understood. I think I, I have an idea. And the name of the company uh, is, once again? Uh, really? uh, yeah, we changed the name, but I forgot. <laughs> what is the name? Uh, it's called Ardna, like Ardna, Ar Ardna, A-R-D-N-A, -A, which means in Arabic, our land. Our land. May I call our it land. Our land. All right. Yeah. May I call Ardna. it our land for now? Because I don't okay. speak Arabic fully uh, as a placeholder. Thank you very much. All right. So Yusuf, mm -hmm. how long have you been a, a computer systems engineer for? Three years and a half. Three years. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to resume the pitch now. It took me a little longer than 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. Please come back. I am about to pitch. Yusuf, please mute your microphone just in case because there was a bit of like, you know, the echo sound and all that. But thank you so much. Shukran. Very, thank you very much. People who maybe zoned out a little bit, please come back. This is the moment. Hi, my name is Yusuf. I'm the CEO and co-founder of R land we are an application we're an application that tackles one of the biggest problems for the agriculture industry in palestine 15 percent of our arable land right now is not being worked on it is wasted we have a double digit unemployment rate we when i take these two components and build an application that allows people who are currently unemployed to work the land that is being currently unprocessed. We want to tackle this problem using this application that allows a person who wants to become a farmer to enter this application to see a list of farms that currently could provide them with a workplace and how they can work on this land. We combine two worlds and we choose solve two problems with one app now i spent the past three years building applications software anything from accounting down to e-shops we have a team of four this team consists primarily of people like me computer systems engineers and we have an accountant within the next 48 hours we plan to build a working prototype to talk to farmers to validate the problem more importantly what we're excited about is being able to solve a real problem for Palestine that can potentially be scaled all around the region. Now that becomes very exciting. What we're seeking right now are partnerships, introductions to farmers, government officials, and more people to join our team to help us design one of the best products to solve this problem. My name is Yusuf. This is our land, and we want to build an application that can help the agriculture industry and help more young people to become farmers and gain willful employment. Shukran, thank you very much. Wow. That was around two minutes. I, I timed myself, that's what I was looking at. Ladies and gentlemen, and this is where I ask you to unmute your microphones. What did I just do functionally and how was it like for you? This is not just for Yusuf, this is for everyone now. I'm using a, close to what a Socratic dialogue is i need you to deconstruct what just happened so you can learn from it please engage on mutual microphones and speak and comment if you want to of course what just happened i'm waiting for you to speak i will wait as long as i need to hello <laughs> Uh, I see you guys are in the same space, most likely. That's why there's an echo of some kind. Uh, the the logo of more you earn is it's some kind of corking space. Uh, do, you, do you hear me? I can hear you, miss. What is your name? Diana Muzahed. Uh, I know you before. Oh, you know me. Where from? Yeah, uh, from Arab Innovation Academy in June. Oh, January. Qatar. Very good. <laughs> Arab Innovation Academy. Yes. Good to see you. You're good to see you. Very good. There's been a lot Thank of people you. there. You had a lot of teams. It's good. Yeah. Thank you. What did I just do, if I may ask? Uh, you um, were focusing on the 
on the important words that should be uh, should take should that should be focused on like the the numbers and um, like the the important words that uh, that uh, you're doing well you're doing well it's all good I clarified I see you I focused on keywords to get people yeah. engaged if I got this right yes shukran thank you very much I would love to hear from more folks it's good to, thank you for the okay. feedback so far what else did I do everyone thank you very much I'm involving everyone, including the organizers, including the participants, all of you. It's a dialogue before we transition to actually pitching. Okay, hello. hello I'm Zena. Yes. I'm hello, from Zena. Uh, the space here from HEMA co-working lab. Oh. Um, I, I work here. I'm not a participant. But Very good. first of all, thank you for, no for your uh, workshop. Uh, it's great, and uh, you have introduced yourself as Yusuf, saying that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've introduced them, the team, and what they are doing, and reach, trying to reach the goal that they want to reach. Specifying Understood. the goal, I would say. Clear. How was the pitch like for you? Sorry? How was the pitch like for you? Pitch. Um, uh, it was great, uh, assuming that it was very clear. It's uh -huh. clear. And Sorry? Yes, I understood. Please continue. Yes. And the goal was clear as well. And what do you want to reach? What, what do you want to get at the end of that was also mm -hmm. clear, which makes the, 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 the listeners understand well what exactly they are waiting for or what, what do they need to do. Uh, shukran, thank you very much. I, uh, I trust shukran is the appropriate uh, yes. term to use. Thank Understood. You. Uh, Zena, was it right? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay. What just happened? What was the specific process like? What did you observe? What was the result? It's a free form conversation. Please feel free to engage. I think you. Yes. Like you said, you said it uh, as me in a different way. You said the same information, but in a different way. That attracts the audience and makes the like the solution and problem you make them seem bigger than I did, like in, in ways of talking and also uh -huh. in ways like seeing about your experience and the team. Understood. It's still your content, right? What? It's still, it's still yeah. your content. It's still your yeah. words, essentially. Still the same fact. In a different way. In a different way. And what is the difference, though? If you deconstruct it, if you look at it as code. Yeah, like the like there's like when I wanted to pitch, like before yeah. I see the decision, I never yeah. thought that I would say about my experience and my like the fields of my teammates. And also the the body language and the ways like voices ways. Oh like, there's some difference in yeah. my tone. I see. Yeah. Your tone. I see. Like anybody else, uh, mm. thank you, Yusuf, so far. Thank you very much, Shukran. Okay. I would love to hear from others because, Yusuf, we had quite a bit of an attraction, and this is very apt, very good observations. Anybody else, feel free to speak up. I'm seeing a lot more people in our call. I need you guys to engage because the next step is that more participants will be pitching. Don't be shy. It's a hands-on sport. Hi. Who? Uh, my name is uh, Safa Mujahid, and Hello. also with uh, Yusuf in the same team. Uh, the most thing that was attractive to me is uh, your body language was awesome and also your voice changed so that was very att attractive for me understood so i was using my voice and gestures i presume to communicate if i understood correctly uh, i'm sorry if the voice uh, was uh... understood so if i got this right your key observation is that i use my gestures and voice to draw you guys into to have attention to speak Clear. Yes. Shukran. Thank you very much. Anything else, ladies and gentlemen? I'm seeing more people, and I'm slowly getting more people to talk. This is good. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. Please remind me of your name once again, please. Uh, my name is Joseph. Or you, Joseph. Yusuf or Joseph? Let's say use Joseph. Uh, Joseph, feel free. Please, your show. Uh, you want to to talk about my project? I would love to understand what you observed. What was the structure I used for pitching? For example. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Uh, I don't understand what, what exactly you want. What is the structure that I used when I was pitching as Yusuf? Not sure. Structure. Oh, okay. Is the word structure okay. clear? Okay. Uh, my structure for uh, for my project, it's... No, no, no. Uh, dude, 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 dude. Um, we're analyzing what Yusuf did, the other Yusuf. So you're Joseph, he's Yusuf to me. Yes. Uh, when, when I did his pitch, did you hear it? Yes. What was the structure? Yeah. The pitch that I done. You want to put my project in a, in a structure? I want you to explicitly state what the structure was. And then we'll apply it. I don't know, actually. Uh, is this a language barrier? All right. Who, what, why, ask. Who and what uh. and why, ask. Are you with me? Joseph. Joseph. Okay, I'm with you. Uh, I feel, okay. Okay. Uh, yes, and I understand. Uh, uh, I feel uh, when you want to uh, make a structure for the project, it you have to use your body language and uh, uh, you have to make uh, make your your voice is clear uh -huh. and it's good. And uh, you have to uh, to be good when you when you say the point and you di uh, go direct to the point. Uh huh. And. Uh, to be to be uh, very good and very strong uh, when you're pitching the the project. I see. I think I get it. If I got straight, so I'm clear to the point. I see, and I'm confident when I'm delivering it. I think I understand it, Joseph. Thank you for your feedback. Now I'm going to transition to the next part of the particular workshop because we have a half an hour left or so, and I want to make it as practical as possible for all of you. I've done enough work to warm you up, right? We the feedback giving, the deconstruction is to guys to get you guys to speak, so it'd be less scary to go and pitch, right? I'm the first volunteer, so to say, together with Dr. Yusuf. We've uh, interacted, I gave you an example, and I'm asking you to do something similar, but for yourself, because you know a lot more about your projects than I do. Yes, I might have a little bit more experience in pitching projects, but you know a lot more, and I want to hear you pitch. Think of it as rehearsal and practice, so your videos, when you record them, those three minute videos that you will do, that they would be better. This is the playground. It's kind of like a mix of a workshop and a pitch drill. So I need volunteers that want to pitch, that want to practice, whatever you guys have right now, I would love to hear what's the problem that you're solving and exactly who's in your team. So this would be super useful. I gave you an example using Yusuf's content. So problem, solution. I wanna know who you are, what you do, why you do it, and what you're seeking. I need volunteers, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's a hands-on okay. sport. Okay, Sorry? I'm here again. Joseph, hello. Yes, hello. Uh, Does it mean that you want to pitch? Did I understand you correctly? Yes, okay. Uh, firstly, Did I understand uh, you correctly? You, do you want to pitch? Did I understand you correctly? Yes. Clear. Do you know what the structure is that you need to use? Uh, uh, I have to say, uh, what, I, what is my project? Uh, who, who did in this project? What is the matter? Okay, uh, just give me one minute, please. Uh huh. Very good. I like the fact that you're a man of action, Joseph. You're a man of action. You want to do stuff. Are you there, Joseph? Yes. Very good. But I need you to think through before you speak. And I need you to structure your thoughts. Is that clear? Yes, it's that clear. But I, right. I will not pitch, uh, pitching like what, what, what you like saying. You, you want me to, to say about my project and make it structure. Can somebody speak in Arabic? Just to be clear. I understand you, Joseph. You're clear, but I want to make sure this I'm being clear to clear. Yusuf, may I? You speak Arabic. Can you trans the other Yusuf? So Joseph is you, but jo uh, Yusuf, who I interacted yeah. with before, whose pitch I've done. You, may I ask for your help? All right. I'll just tell him because he's like Sandy, so I'm going to mute. And can you explain him to him? Can you explain to him, uh, just to be yeah. clear, that I want him to use the four point structure and I need to make sure he understands the sequence? and what they are. Can you please translate just in case? I want to double check that it's right. super clear. Can you please just repeat the four components like fastly? Who the individual is, yep. what do they do as a project, 
yeah. Lemada, why did they do what they do? So what essentially what problem did they discover that's worth solving, such as in your case, uh, the agriculture plan, for instance. Ask yeah. is what they're seeking, what's going to happen in the future, because you're not just doing a video for the sake of doing a video. You're doing a video to ask for something, to help people join on board, give you capital, introductions, you know, that kind of stuff. I need want to see who he is, what does he do, why does he do what he does, and what he's seeking. It's okay. a very primitive, very basic structure for early level pitching. Please. Give me a minute. This is kind of cool. We have a hybrid event going on. We have a physical space and we have a virtual space. Ooh, there's a whole lecture going on there. Me? Well, uh, well, okay, I, I understand. Oh, okay. One moment, uh, Joseph, is this clear now? Yes, it is clear now. <laughs> Very good. It's your show now. I'm looking forward yes. to hearing your pitch. Okay, let's do uh, it. Firstly, firstly, uh, I'm Yusuf Haddad, and uh, uh, the team with me is Ramiz Dries. Uh, he studied business administration. And uh, Hassan, designer, and uh, Layla, uh, she study English, and uh, we are uh, our uh, project is clean the world. Uh, we are doing uh, about soil waste management. It's about metal and plastic cans uh, to can uh, reduce the pollution and uh, make it uh, make it uh, give uh, give for us some money and um, make it clear uh, uh, less, less make the pollution is less uh, in in our country because we have uh, 156 uh, landfills and we want to make them uh, make it less and we are uh, doing that because we are uh, want to, want to make less the pollution and uh, make a, make a money from uh, the pollution. Uh, I and I want to see my uh, my future, uh, my my project in the future. Uh, it's more profitability, uh, more uh, more. Uh... You're going well. You're going well. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, may. may uh, make uh, make uh, awareness for people uh, to to about the pollution and about the area and uh, all of this and i see uh, after 5 years of, or 10 years uh, a project uh, have bigger project and we can joseph, uh, solve pardon about me, pardon uh, me. joseph make, one moment joseph what do you need your ask what do you need Need about what? For your project, Joseph, you need to ask for something at the end of a pitch. What are you asking for? Why are you telling me this pitch? I need an ask. Could you please tell me what you need? Uh, I need to make my project more stronger and uh, make us uh, make uh, a good startup. الهدف من المشروع أو الحاجة. How I can help you, man? That's the question. When a jury member, those six jury members who are going to be reviewing your videos, yes. and they're listening to you, the question is, why did they just listen to you? What are you looking for? Uh, because it's very good for environment, uh -huh. and we we don't have uh, about uh, we don't care in our country for this uh, project like uh, this project about soil waste management and i need to 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 make this in our country uh, to make uh, to to make a good environment okay. all right i'm going to move from here 
So you did quite a few good components, right? So you have a good building blocks. You seemingly followed the structure. Uh, you will need to transition to not immediately, but in terms of writing to figure out what exactly do you need people's help with, because pitching is not just done for the sake of pitching. The pitching is for a very particular purpose. So if you're pitching investors, you're asking for money. If you yes. ideally you're in a very early stage, maybe you're looking for introductions to organizations that can help you. You're looking for people yeah. to join your team. I don't know exactly, but it's up to you to figure out. Right now, the ask is not clear. And I think it could be with sufficient thought put into it. Whew, I think we have a language barrier a bit. So Yusef, uh, I think you're clear what I'm saying, right? Yes. So not Joseph. Yes, but I understand. I understand what I say. Uh, after five minutes, I will say it for you. I want to, to design what I, I want to talk. So after this particular feedback, I invite you to take a sheet of paper, so an A4 and a pen or a pencil, and to write down your pitch by hand, who you are, what you do, why you do it, and what you're seeking. Okay. Joseph, is that clear? Yes, that's clear. In a day or so, when you've accomplished more during the hack, I want a component, what you've achieved during the hack added to the pitch. Is that clear? Okay. I want to see yes. progress. I want you to clearly communicate what your team has accomplished in a very short amount of time. Clear? Okay. Yes. The ASICs though, who, what, why, ask. This is a very simple structure. It's not an ideal pitch. It's a basic happy meal of information that you can immediately use and start working on. And that's exactly what I want you to do now. And that is pick up a sheet of paper, A4, and start writing. Is that clear? Okay. That Joseph, clear? thank you for yes. volunteering. Shukran, you've been a good sport. And the other Yusuf, thank you for translating and helping your colleague out. This is super important. And I'll, I'm glad that you have a team spirit. Now we have around 20 minutes left. And I want to take as many of you as I can that you get the practical experience in pitching. We learn by doing. This is called experiential learning. I need other volunteers, other teams. I understand we have five teams here, supposed to be five, and we just had two so far. So that means we're missing three teams. And this is where I pause and wait for people to volunteer. I think there's only... I think them, there, yeah, please. There are only two teams in the in this call, I think. Uh, is that correct, uh, Haley? If I may. Um, no, no. There are only two teams in the um, in the Hema lab right now. Others are joining from somewhere else. Maybe um, Hazim Takori from All to One. Maybe you want to go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Oh, hello. Hello. It, there might be connection issue, and in this context, if you, I would advise to switch off your camera feed to improve the connection. Um, the camera, that's uh, this will be uh, better. Uh, it should be better because the camera feed was a bit laggy. Uh, can you formulate a test sentence, a slightly longer sentence, to see whether the connection is choppy or not? Okay. Any sentence will do. Can you say something? Okay. Yeah, uh, I am uh, appreciate your cooperation and your efforts to help us to make this special pitch of our projects. Very good. The connection is That's very good. clear. I can hear you. We are, well, the game is on, right? Let's do it. Okay. Do you understand what the structure is? Yeah. What is the structure? Can you reflect it back to me so I make sure that I've done a good job to explaining what it is? Yeah, the structure, it's depend on the, about uh, Mr. Youssef. Or what is the structure of the pitch that you need to use, you, for that me, you will be yeah. pitching? Yes. Yeah, we, f we find a problem here in our world, okay? You know, everybody know the pandemic which happened in the world. And about this problem, it's the uh, effect on the economic in general. So in our area, about this problem, we make a solution. We decide to launch all to one. What is all to one? This is everybody will serve the one, uh, each person, and all people will get the 
effect and the positive thing. So because the pandemic and the money problem in the world of economic disaster and the less of income for all people from their salaries, we make and decide to launch a service that make all people pay less and get more. To pay Hazim, less, Hazim, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, we have two things. One probably is a language barrier a little bit, but you're quite fluent in English, which I still understand. Yes. And as a result of that, second point, you're being abstract and very broad. So what it means it? I, uh, broad, <laughs> let me, I don't really understand what you are talking about. Yeah, I will explain it. Yeah. I, will I, I don't want you to talk. Oh. simply for the sake of talking i want you to get to the point firstly, am i being I clear you to guess. excuse me hazim firstly i will let you to guess what i am talking about uh, hazim the solution. hazim hazim yeah. thank you for volunteering you're being very kind and supportive and learning so it's very good as a growth mindset to volunteer and to learn my kind suggestion if yeah. you want to get the best out of the next 10 minutes with me is to listen very carefully to what I ask you to do. Oh. You can tell me no, that's fine, but I ask you to listen to the instructions very carefully. Is that acceptable for you, Hazim? Okay. Understood. Yeah. I need to state exactly the name of your project. Okay, My, the name is all to one. All to, to one. one. Yeah. And what does all to one do? in very okay. specific terms, yes. not yeah. abstract, big, broad terms, but what does it exactly do? Am I, is my question clear? Group buying. Group buying? buying. Yeah. And by group buying, uh, I think I understand the word group and buying, but I'm not quite sure what it applies to. What are you buying in groups? Help yeah. me understand that a little bit. Yeah, we, we make a group discounts from local vendors and That's collect, better. Yeah, I see. Collect, Can you give me an example of vendors, please? Yeah. And collect uh, uh, enough number of customers to sign up for some products. That is if, better. Hazim, yeah. you're doing better. There's still levels of abstraction that we can improve on. So when you say vendor or vendor, it's not immediately clear for some people what you're talking about. Everything can, you, can be bought. I understand that everything can be bought in early stage projects. It's important to focus. It's important to narrow down the group you're going after. Can you give me examples of one or two vendors, the range of vendors you're going for, such as somebody selling baby products, somebody selling furniture, restaurants, restaurants. restaurants. right? So your group uh, on, so you have a group on model for restaurants. Did I understand you correctly? Yeah, you know group on. I'm aware of group on. Yes, yeah, it's a it's very old company. Yeah, this is the third project in the world, will be all to one. There's uh, a project in Egypt, it's called Ufarna, our offers, and the second, it's Group On, and here is the third in the Middle East, it will be all to one. Hazim, you're doing yeah. better. This is very good. When you pitch, you need to be specific. Am I being clear? Yeah. So you started off with a lot of blah, blah, to be blunt. Not to be disrespectful, but to give you honest, direct feedback to make you better. I will repeat that. I want to make you better, Hazim, in pitching. Am I being That's, clear? Yeah, yeah. So don't tell me how the world is in a you know big, broad strokes. Just get to the point immediately. In a three-minute pitch, you don't have the luxury to be so broad. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. The structure, the who, what, why, ideally. So, hi, my name is Hazim. I'm the CEO of name of the company. Insert that. Okay. We are a Groupon-like platform for vendors, period. Vendors like restaurants, boom, period. So, short sentences. We built this to help them sell their goods or sell seats. We, and for consumers, so people who go into restaurants, we sell a group, a, a coupon, a discount. Yeah, every Being super short, super specific. Hazim, is this clear? Yeah, very clear. Understood. Yeah, it's when you shortcut. do this, 
Yes, very, very short, very to the point. Do not do what you've done before. Do not ask me to guess because I will not. I simply will switch off your video and not watch it. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah that's it. All right. When you finish telling me who you are and what you do, the question, Lemada. Now, this is a, a complex question. Why? This can compo contain logical components, such as Montek, essentially, and pathos, emotion. So an emotional reason and logical reasons. So logical reasons, traditionally in a pitch, contain the problem statement. So it's very important for any pitch to explain what problem are you solving. So this is a question to you now. Uh, Hazim, what problem did you discover that you're solving with your application or your group and like service? What problem did you discover? And please sp be specific or give me examples. Please, Hazim, yeah, shukran. The problem is to save all the people uh, how to pay or to buy uh, uh, any things, grocery or um, many things, to save money. This is the I see. or aim. I see. And who are you targeting initially? So in the hackathon, you're building the solution. Who are you building the solution for exactly? Who is your target audience? Target audience. Maybe uh, we can guess that's the uh, employment. Understood. So doing the hack, by kind of recommendation, is to do validation. So problem validation, meaning how to discover the problem, and talk to real people, so be that restaurants or people who go into restaurants and that want to use this potential service, and to ask what are they using right now to get better deals in restaurants, for instance. And then through that, learn how they approach it and then offer them a solution later down the line. And so for, this can become substance, and content in the pitch. Example being, so when later in the 24 hours or so, you're preparing your video, you can say, after you said who you are and what you do, for the past 24 hours, we have spoken to five, let's say 10, 15 different restaurant goers, and we asked them one question. What do you do to get a better deal at restaurants right now? And here's what we discovered. They discovered they use boom, 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 and boom. This is just an example. You don't have to ask this exact question, but it's just an example. Based on this, we developed a prototype. And here's the demo of this prototype. Then accompany your name, show me a screenshot or a series of examples of features, what you've accomplished, built, that can help those 15 people achieve those discounts or whatever. Am I being clear, Hazim? Yeah, that's very clear. Understood. Yeah. This is part of the component why, how you discover the problem, right? For validation, for talking to real users, real people. And if you want to add to it, and if you have more time, which is probably you have very little off, to also talk to the restaurants, how they could benefit. Because you have two, play, two groups, people who go to restaurants and the restaurants themselves. Building a solution without validation is a very bad move normally. You can succeed, but it's risky. You do not want to build something that people don't want to use or wouldn't work. That's why you do problem validation. Ladies and gentlemen, after this workshop or during it, I want you to Google what problem validation is for startups. Problem validation. Be sure to understand that. For hackathons, it's very, very important. And that will provide content potentially for the lemada part of your pitch, the why. It okay. also will highlight what you've accomplished during the hackathon and that your team is asking the right questions from the users and that you are working together in a short amount of time to build a better solution based on real needs of customers. Is that clear, Jose? Yeah, it's very clear. And I uh, maintain the, the problem now. The problem is the raising of the prices and the, the solving we will force the vendors to low their prices by group buying. I see. Is it like wholesale? When you say group buying, so you get a group yeah. discount. Yeah. If I got group this right. Group discount. We will sell uh, e vouchers and e vouchers, okay, on our uh -huh. platform, a uh, based uh -huh. platform, sell an e vouchers. And these e vouchers uh, limited to deadline. There's a 20 buyers for this product, there's a discount 50%. If 20 uh, buyers come or uh, buy our e-vouchers, it will run. We'll Hazim, this offer. one moment. Uh, e-vouchers. 
so just pronunciation vouchers not vouchers but vouchers uh what are you seeking so it's the final component of the ask so the ask one of the four the last thing in the pitch what are you looking for yeah we are looking to more sell for the vendors and uh, all people get the price lower lower than they get it, it by their self individual let me specify this in the context of the hackathon you are coding did i understand yeah. this correctly your team is currently developing the software yeah application and websites understood what do you want the jury what do you want from them let's say you have six people reviewing it what do you want to ask of them why are you recording the video about your project what you coded what is the goal of your pitch essentially for this group for your uh, project that you, in the hackathon i presume this is a for profit as in a business i understand that you want to lower prices for restaurants using group of buying i think i get that it's a pretty standard old model but i don't understand how i can help you how other jury members looking at this would see that you have a plan for the future and what you're seeking to do as part of that future plan am yeah, i being clear uh, yeah yeah it's a community and profit for the community and the profits all right azim you're being a bit broad so i'm asking to be very explicit about how can we help you exactly uh, uh, i'm sorry uh who is this uh, uh, it's it's zena uh, i just want to uh, explain to him in arabic just very briefly because i think there is a, a, a misunderstanding in arabic please please hazem huwa qasdu hala ihna lamma naqaddam pitching la 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 tahkim bidna ishi minhum yani masalan bidhum mawluk bidhum yawsluk la organizations biddak sponsorship bid shu biddak shu biddak min lajna tahkim inta يعني عرفت شو قصدي؟ اه انا ما توقعتش انه مباشره نوصل لهي اللحظه يعني طيب اوكي بس ده. انت هلا لما تعمل بيتشنج شو آه. شو الهدف اللي حابب توصله لهم؟ شو آه. تفرجيهم؟ يعني شو بدك منهم؟ اه اكيد هو اكيد فاندنج يعني رح يكون اوكي هذا هو سؤاله يعني اه اه اوكي هذا هو سؤاله بتقدر تشرح له انه يو نيد فاندنج ولا ما بعرف شو ما بدها اوكي سير اي انديرستاند يو اي ام جاست نوت جيسينج ذيس بوينت ويل ارايف ات توداي I think it's uh, oh, tomorrow. This is what understood. So you don't know yet if I got this right. Uh, is uh, that correct? No, it's, it's clear from the first uh, step for our project. It uh, needs just a funding for a platform for some. Understood. Uh, that's it. Clear. You might have, I don't know exactly, but you might or might not have investors listening to you. So when you're asking for something specific such as funding, please specify the amount you're raising. Am I being clear? Yeah. So I, I will, for this, I can explain the profit of uh, the income about this re when I get funding. No need for now, right? Okay. Don't think about profitability at a hackathon project. Think about how much capital do you need to build to get to the next stage. Yeah, cost the structure. So you, ooh, mm, Hazim, 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 you're being very patient with me, which is very good. So, Hazim, when you ask for funding. I need you to state a number how much funding are you asking for. Is okay. that clear? Yeah. In your very early stage, I don't know how to speculate on this but maybe you need 30, 50,000 dollars of funding. How much do you need? 15. 15,000. 15, yeah. 15,000 dollars. Did I understand you correctly? Yeah, 15,000. And what do you need it for exactly? It's a clear for the uh, application uh, platform. And there's... To, for product development. Yeah. For the then product. I need you to explicitly state that at the end of a pitch. Oh. We're raising, we're looking for $15,000 for product development and to get to the next stage. That would be an example of a traditional ask. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Yeah. I am, as in, keep in mind, I'm giving you a very basic blueprint from my pitch school of how to construct a story-driven pitch with four guidelines. It's who you are, what you do, why you do what you do, and what you're seeking. 
And that's exactly okay. the ask I just gave you. Yeah. So you may or may not use the structure. It's up to you. Think of them as guidelines. But whatever you do, you have to be clear. You've been very patient with me. So I say shukran to you, Azim. You're uh, if you are specific in the beginning and specific at the end, then I've done a great deal of my work with you already. That is my particular, uh, well, not gift, but suggestion to you. So oh, thank you for your patience so far. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it specific. Keep it on point. Keep it short and use the four points to become better. Inshallah. Clear? Okay. okay. Inshallah, indeed. God's okay. will. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to wrap this up because we are given an hour. We've gone through three projects. I understand there's at least two projects left, but we don't seemingly have the time for it. So to be respectful of the time, I will give you a summary. Pitching is a skill, one of those skills that can take a lifetime to learn to do it well. Pitching is dependent on who you're presenting to. Some One pitch cannot always work for one group. Another pitch will not work in a different group. So an investor in Estonia, where I'm from, or an investor in the US, or an investor in Oman, might be very different beasts. But they're still human beings, and they're still human beings that have to make decisions. In a hackathon, you don't have a lot of time. So you have to prioritize brutally. You might be a software engineer. You might be a lawyer. You might be an accountant. You're all kinds of walks on life. And most of you are in Palestine. Some of you are physically in a co-working space. Some of you are at home. When you are going to be recording a video, either using your well, webcam, phone, whatever, I ask you to write down a script. Right? Start off with a 15-minute writing window. Use the four components I gave you. If you cannot get the fourth ask yet, focus on just the three. Who, what, why. The question, la mada, is one of the most complex ones. Ultimately, I want to understand that you are a competent professional that can solve this problem, that you understand where the problem is coming from because you validated the problem, and that you have a clear future plan about this. And that within the context of Hackathon, your team has worked very hard and in unison to accomplish your milestone and goals. So think of it as an alternative structure of what's the problem that you're solving, what's the solution you've achieved, what have you achieved during the hack, and what are the next steps? That will be a more basic form of looking at it. That's what a hackathon pitch is. It's not ideal. It doesn't include all the information, uh, nor should you include all the information. It's just enough to give the jury a comparison point and get them interested in you. Guys and ladies, is this clear what I expect of you specifically for your three-minute pitch videos? Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yusuf, uh, thank you for volunteering. It's usually the hardest thing to be the first one. Uh, you've been also very kind in helping translate some of the content for your fellow peers. I'm looking forward to seeing you progress and learn. Pitching is, you're not going to be ideal, you're not going to be perfect, and it's fine. But learn from your mistakes and make connections and build relationships with the mentors, which is very important, and the judges, if you can. Always seek advice, if you can. Grow from it. Storytelling is hard, but it's worth it. Shukran, all of you. Lemada first, problem validation, Google for it, and then show me that you deeply care about the problem you want to solve. Yusuf, you definitely showed it to me. You definitely care about your problem and Palestine and agriculture and unemployment. But then the other thing is, what can you do about it? And whether you have the skills to do so. Guys, we're done. Thank you very much. Thank you for the organizers and the providers of the corking space. I am Gleb, uh, Gleb Maltsev. If you want to connect with me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn are all available.